Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. We all seek to live a life filled with confidence. However, we must realize that there is a right and a wrong kind of confidence. There is the confidence of one who knows he is prepared and can deal with the situation. Once someone said to one of the amazing air pilots who fly at fantastic speeds, you must take the most frightful risks. His answer was, the one thing to be quite sure of in my job is to see to it that you never take any risks. He had everything perfectly prepared insofar as it was humanly possible. He was quite sure of his own ability to cope with any foreseeable situation. This is not a wrong confidence. It is the confidence of one who knows what he can do. There is the confidence of one who is justly aware of his own gifts. When Balzac was a lad, he told his father that he desired to give his life to literature and become an author. His father well knew both the risks and the rewards of authorship. If you become an author, he said, and if you take literature as your career, you will either be a beggar or a king. Very well, said the lad. I will be a king. It is said that when Admiral Cunningham was a schoolboy and before his career was settled, his father wrote to him saying that there was an opportunity to enter the Navy and asked if he would like to take it. Certainly I would like to take it, the boy wrote back. I would like to be an admiral. There is nothing wrong in one knowing what he can do, in willingly tackling a big job, in gladly offering himself for some great service, with the confidence that he can do it. But confidence becomes wrong when it becomes arrogant, conceited, and proud. When one's confidence makes him his own greatest admirer, then it is wrong. It was said of a certain conceited man, he claims to be a self-made man, and he has never stopped worshiping his own handiwork. The self-confidence of pride is always an ugly thing. What about you today? Do you walk through life with an air of self-confidence? May I challenge you to seek something far greater? Why not begin this day to seek to walk through your life with a conviction of God confidence? It will make all the difference in the world. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, Lord, to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus. Taking my sin, my cross, my shame, rising again, I bless your name.